Cancer, for your couple's love reading, I will be doing a relationship comparison spread using the Romantic Tarot deck. So the first card is giving me an indication of where your relationship is at now. This is what you are thinking about the relationship, what your partner is thinking, what you're feeling, what they're feeling, and where it's headed. Okay. So where you're at right now is you're just tending to the responsibilities. Okay, you have the emperor here. The emperor oversees the kingdom. Okay, so he is a responsible character. He makes sure that everything is running properly. And, you know, he does the maintenance. He's, you know, and this is where you're at right now. You're making sure that everything runs smoothly in your relationship and so is your partner. Responsibilities. It feels mature. What you're thinking about the relationship is that it takes a great deal of effort to keep things you know, moving forward. I do see this as being a card of success after great effort. And, you know, I do see, you know, there's you and your partner. And you're equal but opposite. You're on the same team and you're moving forward together in a positive direction. How your part, what your partner is thinking about you is the Empress card. You're this lovely Empress. Okay, so the Empress is the partner to the Emperor. She is the wife. She is the mother. She creates beauty around her. She nurtures the environment and the people around her. He sees you as being very caring and, um, you know, very attentive. There's even a dog in the picture here. Okay, so... The dog to me represents pets. Yes, it could be cats or dogs, but it also uh, symbolizes friendship. So not only are you this you know, lovely, you know, empress type energy who's you know very concerned for the welfare of the people around her, but you're also a good friend, and that's ultimately what we want in our partners. So this is good. This is a good thing for your partner to see you this way. All right. So how you're feeling about the relationship is the Ace of Pentacles, I really feel like you're seeing it as being something of value. Okay, you have something precious here. It's a beautiful card to show up here. All right, so how your your partner is feeling is, you know, this is the Six of Wands, which is the victory card. This is, you know, small successes. So here you have the big success and you have small successes. So able to sort of move, you know, forward and overcome any sort of petty arguments. You're still in the same boat. You're in the same boat together. Okay, so where you're moving together in your relationship, you have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a woman of mystery, okay? So when you have the, the Empress, this woman is like someone that's very familiar, someone that, you know, he has you like, you know, sort of all figured out in some way. He knows you very well, okay? This is a card of like, you know, not revealing everything. There's some sort of mystery to you. There's something to yet be desired. And I feel like if this is in the relationship itself, there are more things that are yet to be desired and not everything is being revealed. So this is a card of secrets and mystery. So the future is really unknown between you two. And, you know, a lot of times with tarot, we can see the writing on the wall. We can see how things are um, playing out based upon how they are now. And in a way, we do get to sort of glimpse into the future, but not everything is known. Um, you know, tarot readers, astrologers, you know, no one knows the future really but God. Because 
people have free will, right? So anyway, it's just saying that this relationship, there's still, you know, um, there's still left to be unknown. There's still, you know, something to be desired in this relationship. I generally see it as being a good thing. Okay, so here you have the devil card as the shadow. And, you know, I see the devil card as having a little bit of like materialism and excess in some way. And this is okay. But I do feel like, you know, this is also the shadow self. Your relationship with anybody always reveals to you what you don't always see about yourself. So it's like, you know, relationships are mirrors sort of thing. And there's the shadow aspect that's coming up here. Sometimes your partner reflects certain aspects about you. Okay, so what I'm getting is just that um, if there's something that you don't like about your partner, then there's really something like deep down inside of you that you're not, haven't come to terms with fully. Okay, but as far as your relationship itself, it feels like it's stable and it feels like it's solid and it's moving in a, a uh, positive direction. And both of you know, you know, your partner sees you as a friend and as a true partner, someone who has their back, right? And that you're in it together. And you're seeing it as something very valuable and you can overcome the challenges. So life will throw you curveballs. Life will throw you temptations and your partner temptations, um, things to worry about. And it's just saying like, you know here that you can overcome that devil with the strength and determination to make it work. Okay. All right. So I want to go ahead and pull a card from the Romance Angels Oracle deck to show me what you want or desire from this relationship ultimately from here on out and what your partner desires. Okay. Okay, so something that's going to be happening very soon. All right, this is the shadow card. What you want is intimacy through conversation, heart-to-heart -heart conversations, for you to honestly discuss your feelings with one another. Okay, very clear, very straightforward. What your partner wants it says release your ex, but to me, this is like releasing any baggage from previous relationships. You know, releasing any fears, anything that sort of, you know, anything that you need to let go of. That's what your partner wants from this relationship. For they themselves to be able to move on from the past with your help and also for you know you to also release any baggage this is about fears and limitations remember so you know letting go of, of any of this stuff any worries any blame any shame any disappointments from the past bringing up old arguments as well, since, since there's a sense of like conversations and communication here, and then letting things go, not dredging up things that were once buried, you know, that's what I'm seeing. All right, so the closing message for you, Cancers, I'm going to be pulling from this Lover's Oracle deck. Oop, and it says, Love cures people, both those who give it and those who receive it. So it really kind of goes along with this, you know, release your ex energy, helping 
you know, helping your partner get over disappointments of the past by knowing that they can rely on you. And also, you know, there's, there's a sense of healing here with letting go. You're helping them do that. They're helping you do that. Beautiful. All right, Cancer. So this was my reading for the you know, Cancer Couples Love Reading. Thank you so much for liking and sharing my videos. And if you have any additional insights that you wish to share from the images on here or any comments that you want to share um, of this reading, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I will see you next time.